Chair sees none. The bill is placed on its passage. The machine is open. And now, a page from our Sunday morning almanac. February 5th, 1897, 115 years ago today. The day the Indiana House of Representatives endorsed the pie-in-the-sky brainstorm of a small-town doctor, Edwin Johnston Goodwin. Dr. Goodwin claimed to have figured out how to square the circle, that is, construct a square exactly equal in area to any given circle. Key to his method was the simple pi, the ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameter. His formula called for pi to equal exactly 3.2. Utterly wrong, of course, since pi had long since been calculated to be an endless string of digits beginning with 3.14. Fortunately, Purdue math professor C.A. Waldo happened to overhear the Indiana House debate and was appalled. Asked if he would like to meet Dr. Goodwin, Professor Waldo replied that he was acquainted with as many crazy people as he cared to know. With Professor Waldo's help, the measure died in the state senate. Still, the fascination with pi lives on, both in fiction and in fact. Ready. Mr. Spock assigned its calculation as busy work for the onboard computer in an episode of Star Trek. Compute to the last digit the value of pi. No, 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 no! Well, just last month, 60 Minutes correspondent Morley Safer introduced us to 13-year-old math prodigy Jake Barnett. For Jake, fun is reciting from memory the infinite series of numbers known as pi. 3.14159265358979323846264338327952 Jake memorized more than 200 of pi's numbers in an afternoon. Pi has been set to music numerous times. You better lose yourself in the digits of pi. It's a high, but you got a thousand more to go. The numbers do not... And folks in Princeton, New Jersey, among other places, celebrate Pi Day every March 14th, a date that can be written as 314, the first three digits of pi. On Pi Day, we want students to have fun with math and science. The U.S. House of Representatives even passed a Pi Day resolution in 2009. From a legislative rejection of Pi's true value to its congressional embrace. You could say we've come full circle. Three, two, seven, nine.